Hello everybody, welcome to CCL Season 51, second round match, Andy Devo and his terrible lizards uh, versus Harpig and his amazing halflings. So, yeah, this is funny, right? This is, uh, this is not a great matchup for Andy here because his team is pretty rubbish, right? He's got a, he's got a couple of guard, and he's got a mighty blow tackle, and uh, he's just lost a lizard. <laughs> and uh, he has a sure hand skink but um, you know at least if he had like uh, at least if he had silly billy he'd have like you know something a bit more than that and like or a wizard like you know if he had inducements he could maybe have a chance with the wizards but uh, he's actually giving up a wizard and Zara instead of getting something himself this game and I assume there was, there was a chef was there no chef? Not what I would have done. No chef. Unbelievable chef. No chef does does feel wrong, yes. I feel like a chef and puggy would have been better than Zara. But um <laughs> I wasn't 50 away for 50 minutes. I said the terrible lizards are off the cuff instantly uh, before the match. Brilliant stuff. Fantastic dad joke from me. Um, and yeah. I mean, the, the good thing is that the halflings and halflings are rubbish, right? But still. Like, I feel like lizards in general aren't that good against stunties. Because. Uh, ogres particularly, I remember Odont lost with uh, Lizards versus uh, Ogres. Because, you know, everybody else is is less strong than Ogres. And the, so the fact that these are strength 4, they might as well be strength 3 versus Ogres. And... You know, like, it's funny, isn't it? But this is pretty, very aggressive, very aggressive. Definitely, uh, halfling struggle more on offense than defense because they've got to protect the ball somehow, and you know the shit. <laughs> so, so that's a bit of a problem. Zara the Blitz, lovely, doing better than Puggy would have done. And the tree blocks. So the ball is safe. Still five Saurus Lizards. Will we see a big foul on this Crocs? Could do. It's kind of protecting the ball at the same time, isn't it? Yep. Dodge for the foul. Oh, and a Kaz! And the apple was gone, wasn't it? On the first one? Oh, it was an apple fail. I didn't even realise there was an apple fail on the first one. Oh my god. So capped at 9 for the rest of the match on turn 2. Is, uh, <laughs> is pretty brutal. Flip me. He's getting a fling sent off. He's a 30k player. Worth removing a 200k player? We'll, we'll never know. Oh, Frenzy. That doesn't do anything. That's pretty sad, isn't it? Six dice with block and not getting a knockdown. I mean, Andy's still going in hard here, but this is a very easy just... Dodge, you know, like this is just a two plus away, and then can make another cage. So not no problems at all for uh, Harpic, and just the entire the entire lizard man team on the wrong side of the ball uh, is pretty good for him. Oh wow, he's scurrying away. I'm not sure I like this play. And when I say I'm not sure I like it, I know I don't like it. I feel like sticking it. Like, there's no break tackle on the lizards. 
So if you stay near the guard of the tree, that stops the uh, skinks jumping in and getting you, doesn't it? But running away here, maybe he wants to in... Like, no, he's got the wizard. That's, this just seems exposing yourself to a skink blitz for no reason. I don't know. I, this seems... This seems not good by him, I would say. I'd go so far as to say not good, because I just feel like, you know, just stick around. Stick around your uh... But No knock down there. Hello, fine here. Hello! Oh, baby! In the booth. The legend. Yes. yes, yes, I'm here. I just woke up, more or less. And before I do some work, I decided to come here and uh, say hello. <laughs> to all Blood Bowl fans. <laughs> Glorious. <laughs> well, lovely to have you here. Hello, Tony. <laughs> Alive. This is. Devo versus Flint. Mm. Well, you asked me on paper, it was a done deal, but if I remember correctly, uh, Devo's team wasn't very good. They're not very good, and they've got worse by having a, a Saurus cast and a Croxigol cast instantly. Oh, well, there's a, a lot of TV efficiency there, you know, to not give uh, anything to his next opponent if it ever exists. <laughs> yeah. Oh, man. Uh, so you could share the screen, that would be fantastic. Oh yeah, I could do, couldn't I? Oh yeah. And in the meantime, let's dedicate this game to our viewers in Laos, in the Southeast Asia. No. Which uh, the national flower is the frangipani, and the national dish is the lap pet. Mmm. I hope they're having a good uh, beginning of the year there, and they have this uh, fantastic halfling uh, lizard uh, game. Yep. No knockdown. Oh no, he's got tackle. Oh, wow. Gets the knockdown. No AV, bro. Diced. Yeah, I'm really not sure about this breakaway, I guess. Oh, it was a great play because it got it got it got Devo to KO his skin. He baited. He clearly baited the KO of the little fella. So yeah, the skink. Uh, Dude, is from is from England, foul boy. But this is Fimir from Spain, by way of Spain, Scotland. Spain, living in Scotland, coming out of a call that I. <laughs> Got instantly as I came back uh, to Scotland from Spain. <laughs> oh, he's not blitzing with the, uh, not blitzing with the tree. Just jump up or oh, blitzing with Zara. <sighs> Oof. Yeah, the fling stalling versus Saurus is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. It's an idea, isn't it? I mean, he's got to make this dodge. Here. Has to make this dodge. Yeah. So that makes the. One, two, three, four, five, six, yeah. Yeah, okay. Good enough. Oh, someone mixed it, dude, up with PC on the other stream. Wow. Ooh, that's a good one. <laughs> what the hell, PC and Dimi? <laughs> it still beats getting mixed up with Cheeky Jimmy. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, God. Well, base the hey. ball. That's what Devo's reduced to. <laughs> The 
frenzy becomes somewhat relevant now, though, eh? now that he's right near the end zone. So hey, now the flings there. have to score. I don't know, they might, they might, uh, they might come back over here. Because they, they know they're going to have to roll some, through, you know, one in nines, you know. They know they're going to have to, so. Maybe you just do it. Maybe go so. Oh well. It's, it's too risky, there is uh, the Saurus already there, uh, any one in nine. That's what I mean. That was just fully incorrect though, dodging instead of blocking, but never mind. Incorrect. Unequivocally. Unequivocally incorrect player there from uh, Harpic. But never mind. <laughs> I'll let him off. <laughs> well, three times to score for uh, Davo. I mean, should be an easy score for the Lizards. Yes, even though he's down to nine players, he still does have a movement eight, sure hand, sidestep. And a lot of strength for uh, pieces that can do things. Yeah. And the flings have to three and Sarah and some flings. Yes. Yeah, as, as bad as this as bad as this has gone so far, it's still not going badly at all. This can still win this two one. I'm really surprised that Davo hasn't done any uh, removals yet. Uh, two. Well, all right. Okay. Why? Why? Why did she not send off? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> To be fair, the send off was to cast the croc, so that was. Well, that worth was, it. Worth, worth, uh... well worth it. I'm surprised he's not setting up to surf this halfling. <laughs> <laughs> Get the right. Oh, another bribe. I mean, saying up to serve him next to. But he could have just he could have just hit him twice there, couldn't he? And then dodged in the skin and served him. I literally wouldn't have even surprised me. But this is much more sensible. Uh, high max 3D there. Mm. Pow into armor break into KO. Okay. okay, this is a little better. Oof. Hand off. Wow. The oh, I guess because the whiz. Yeah, protect him versus the wizard. Mm, a little bit exposed to like halfling hero plays here, but I guess. Yes, because uh, after all that, the. Uh, oh, that one in nine. The flings. Can uh, you know hit the ball with just a few three pluses? Yeah. Yeah, I wonder if it would have been better just to have this like this skink here, so you just can't get too DNA. Nope. Or you can just uh, throw a half in uh, into death. <laughs> into death. <laughs> oh god. Okay, what's a nice attempt? Hmm. At least he, he tried. Has a very, he has a really easy 1D with block on the ball. Yeah, yeah, he has that one every once, basically. Doesn't he? Like, how do you stop it? Do you know what I mean? 1, 2, 3, 4, yes. 5, GFR. You know, he could have put another halfling to, next to the Frenzy Crocs, the uh, Lazarus, and they just blitz with that uh, fling. Yeah. 1D block. Yeah, he can go for that one every once. Which is pretty okay, isn't it? Get hand. Oh, 
There goes the Bryce. Yep. <laughs> easy come, easy go, I guess. Big GFI now from the tree. Sticks to Saurus. I wonder if these should have been staggered to avoid that. Probably. But then I guess these two get stuck anyway. So. Oh, here we go. Twat magnet in full effect. Oh, I'm not sure where it well. The frenzy? No, surely it wasn't the frenzy. No, it was. Frenzy. It is the frenzy into red dice, wow. which gets uh, instant the full punishment. That's not what I would have done. Yeah, I don't like that. Mm -mm. But then I guess at the end of the day, if you're all pushes with the other guy, then then you've got to hit with a frenzy anyway, right? I guess you could bl you could blitz the tree with somebody else. Hmm. I mean, I saw the, the hit with the block, uh, mighty block. I mean, the tree doesn't have block or uh, nor dodge, so two dice. That's a seventy-five percent. Yeah. Yeah, I think I'm, I much prefer. Uh, yeah, but I mean, it's an uphill block, isn't it, Ducky? I don't know, I, I don't like doing it. But then I fill every fucking uphill I ever made. Oh, wow. <laughs> Another cast. Know that, uh... <laughs> He's cast two of his own flings throwing them. <laughs> Amazing. Seems there is a quota of injury the <laughs> flings per half, and if Zabo <laughs> doesn't feel it, you know, the <laughs> flings will do them themselves. Harpik's done two thirds of his own casualties. <laughs> Harpik's responsible for three, five, five, five out of the seven removals. <laughs> no good. Oh, another one. No, oh, well, there we go. This is uh, using the apple because that's the piece. It's the fling, yeah. That was the fling. Well. That's looking uh, a lot better, isn't it, for Davo now? Yes, now Davo is uh, receiving. Three, six, nine, eleven. There's still eleven. Still eleven. No. Ten. Stop moving at my mouth! Oh, there's only 10 flings, oh my god, they're fucked. <laughs> it's alright then, 10 flings versus the Saurus, it's alright. <laughs> I'm guessing the flings will use the wizard very aggressively, meanwhile they still have players. Hmm. Yeah, I'm surprised they, almost surprised they didn't in the, like, to stop going 1-1, one, one, you know? Because if they get in half time at one nil up, then they can just they can just uh, wait for the one turn, can't they? And probably probably win two one. So I'm kind of surprised they didn't whiz on defense then. And kick instant catch on the Happy bolt days. bait. Yeah, leaving this guy blitzable was a decision, wasn't it? Yes, armor six uh, niggle the uh, fling that survives once again. Mm, not, not what I would have done, I must say. <laughs> was... And now fouling Sarah. Mm. Absolutely nothing. Yeah, that. that... I do not now... like leaving him blitzable. Jesus. And now the tree, one tree, the both trees are gonna attack. All the team. Is Zara knocking down a Saurus? Three, yeah. Three Saurus down, pretty good. And a big foul. Big foul in another. Oof. 
Dice... <laughs> I mean, this is the one to foul, isn't it? Out of all the things to foul on the team, this is the one to foul. Yes, I mean, that's the, the, the perfect the foul target. And here comes the foul. Ah, no, not yet. Not yet. Yeah, this guy. Let's create a little pressure just for the blitz in the general direction. <laughs> Oh, gets the removal. Ooh, 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 ooh. Not sent off. And I'm guessing that uh, Andy's app, Apple fail. It did, yes, yeah. Yeah. Lizard got killed. I, so I guess it kind of worked. I think it died and then the Apple turned it down and missed next door. Nah. Well, Jimmy, who's been the beginning of 2023 for you? Yeah. Exactly like mine, then. <laughs> yeah. I didn't go out. I wasn't planning to go out, but I also got a cold. So I was like, I'm not going out with this fucking rain. And also just to have Pet Shop Boys in the background all night. <laughs> so Pet Shop Boys are pretty great, to be honest. <laughs> I know, I know, they're very famous. I didn't say anything uh, against them, just that I don't like them. That's not my kind of music. I have it there, you know, all the time. <laughs> and everybody talking about them is like, oh. <laughs> Zara. So Zara banging down the Saurus has been his plan, hasn't it, for most of the game? And that now time, she's uh, the ball. Casting his own uh, players. Mm. Yeah, yeah, he does like casting his own players. Is Zara going to get surf? Does Devo go for the surf? 1D into 1D into uphill surf. <laughs> no, no, he can't, he can't afford that. I mean, getting rid of Zara is a dream come true. <laughs> but he needs to be sensible. Oh, no, he's not. I'm, I'm actually a little bit shocked. Wow. I mean, Andy's at the risk here of losing versus half in Chalice, which <laughs> has something that already happened. I pay attention to some stats uh, that before this game started, and it seems that uh, Andy has already lost in Chalice versus Flins once. Wow. That's impressive. <laughs> I mean, he has qualified so many times uh, that uh, probably he has to lose against nearly every single team. <laughs> probably. I mean, this is the this has got to be the worst team he's ever qualified with, though. So. Yes, I, I think uh, of all the teams uh, I've seen, uh, Andy, this is no wizard. I think this would have been a decent time to whiz, to be honest. Yeah, you for uh, fling so close to the ball. Yeah. I thought it was just going to be instant. But then I guess the point is, like, how does Devo stall this? So maybe saving it and then, you know, using it to get your own touchdown or whatever. Oh, here we go. He's going for the 1D. Let's <laughs> go. Into push. That's the problem with like going for the 1D like that. It's just a bit shit, isn't it? Like, because you have to re-roll the skull because he's your only player. Armor 6, niggle. Yeah. Yeah, like, you just you just have to. Okay, well, at least he's, you know, making him roll some dice. I mean, it's not that many dice, but it's some <laughs> dice. Just well, on a uh, so. one in eighty-one days. Oh, our rerolls oh. now. Was that worth the reroll? I mean, it was a turnover, so yeah. Yes, but more or less. Uh, Zara was uh, there. He wanted to score. He wanted to score. Yeah, Zara was there. Zara would just come around and, st and stabbed him or knocked him over. So yeah. He had to, had to reroll with Zara there. There was no way to, there was no way to contain Zara. If, if he turns over. Alright. Well, the flings. 
with five turns is almost harder than with one turn, you know, because they've got to, like, keep the ball protected rather than just lob it and see what happens. And yes. they've pretty much got to not use their reroll if they can help it. So they've got a reroll for when they toss it in overtime, because their best case scenario now is overtime, isn't it? Or they could go for the one uh, turn now and then have the wizard to turn over uh, and in the next uh, four turns. I think that's a horrendous idea. <laughs> but they could. <laughs> they, they have to try and stall it, don't they? They just have to. I would give it to Zara, honestly. I would give the ball to Zara and just try and stall it out with Zara. At least Zara's like pretty hard to get the ball off, isn't she? Ah, uh, perfect Tackle, defense. And the... This 10 Andy, versus Andy, 8. Andy, Andy, what is this? Why is the left side of the... The right side of the pitch... Uh... Yes. What, what happened there? Not what I would have done. I mean, it's fine moving the LOS to not get hit by trees and Zara, but... Yeah, have some players over here. This is... Very strange. Yes, Conrad, I just said that I would carry on Zara because the Knight of Otakula is out still. But then obviously it was all super deep kick, so it's not as simple as carrying it on Zara. Ah. Now, now this looks amazing. Oh, so yeah, so that, so that's why I did it. That's why I did this because he's because he saw the kick. Ah, uh, he deep. saw the ball there. Okay, yeah, he saw okay, the kick that's proper, that deep, so. proper play there. I just think he only needed this, though. Honestly, I don't think he needed both of these. Maybe yeah. one Saurus over there, and then one Saurus here, and one skin color. Right? Yeah, I think Zara should have, like gone behind the trees as well, like so she could react to the Saurus. Here comes the fling killer. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Correct. <laughs> I mean, tackle mighty blow block. That's, you know... Uh... <laughs> this is the guard one, to be fair. The oh, it's the guard one? The tackle is still out. Oh, my God. You can just cage up still. You can dodge through there and cage up there. Which isn't great. Oh, one and nine. Two root trees is pretty brutal. But you can always just hand it off to like you can always just hand it off to Zara. Like I think the play is to give the ball to Zara and then potato and tag tag Saurus and potato with Zara. Like when the time comes, or the, and the the trees can still float. Like you can still just move up, right, and then wait, and then go for the lob on turn sixteen. You can just you can still you can still use the trees as a cage. The deep <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, we can just get there, but no re roll. Oof. Unbelievable, Jeff. Two GFIs and three DMs. Three dies, no luck.
So yeah, the question is now is do you try and get the ball to Zara or do you just cage around the tree and uh, and then hope to lob him on turn 16? I guess you just hope to lob him on turn 16 here. Yeah. Oh, maybe not. He's in range. He's in range. He's in range. He has sure feet. I guess you can you can probe this turn and then see what happens. And if you have to, you can come back to get thrown next turn. Yes, this is pretty good here. So he, he can either go forward to get in range or he can come back to get thrown, depending on what happens with Davos turn 15. I mean, the Sabros are having, uh, are going to have some problems here to try to get some decent result. I mean, there is uh, an instant one in the ball, but it's <laughs> just a six. He just needs a six, so... Mm. I mean, I guess that's going to be the blitz. Yeah, he can, he can dodge from assist as well. Oh, he can't dodge. Or, or, or he can one in nine with a low net and then... Uh, well, Lone doesn't matter now, he's got no rerolls at all. Eh? Yeah, oh, no rerolls, okay. And he's dodged yeah. as well. Um, but yeah, this is. Uh, yeah, now he can just show feet away, can't he? And the Saurus are tagged. He's too okay, far away. Okay, there comes another fling flying. Another Kaz? Oh my god, yes. he's literally thrown three flings and Kaz them all. <laughs> he's some kind of sacrifice uh, that he's making. Uh... You know, like some kind of druid thing, or... <laughs> God! <laughs> this is a lot of laughs, but now if he wants to hit the ball, he has to... <laughs> throw some dice. Yeah. Yeah, Harping has removed four of his six... His six players of his that have been removed, he's removed four of them. And he's removed two of Davos as well, so he's, he's literally removed six out of eight removals up because of half <laughs> Nope, another one in nine. Oh, this. man. Very likely overtime with a wizard. Whole baby. <laughs> and without his stadium, yeah. He'd have had another, uh, he'd have a Budweiser babe or something if he, uh, if he slayed his stadium. Wow, okay, the tackle piece comes back. Yep, huge. But also, so is this random fling. Oh, so that they uh, balance the scales. The flings win the toss. Oh, baby, uh, you're telling me there's a chance. Oh my god. You're telling me there's a chance. Blings with a wizard. He can't set up. Yeah, he started off setting up like, he's like, wait a minute, that's fucking stupid. <laughs> you've got to, you've just got to be exposed to the toss. That's, that's it. There's no, there's no choice. Oh, wow, well, all men's LOS. I'm not sure about all men's LOS either, but there you go. Now, now we're going to see the Zara play, surely. It has to be the Zara play. I mean, uh... oh man, touchback would have definitely been Zara. Well, the ball is a very nice, sweet spot for the flings next to the tree. Yeah, so cage, that's pretty good. cage instant uh, <laughs> made. <laughs> pretty nice, really nice, in fact. Sarah can uh, hit the cheeky Jimmy. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! Oh wow, there's the reroll gone instantly on a, just a shitty block. Oh man! Oh man! Did he have to reroll that? I also hate sure. making this block before moving these two, right? Yes. Because why? 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 Guy. You know. Uh... He has some flings that uh, 
I think he's getting carried away by the blue last. Yeah, that was maybe a bit, a bit, uh, a bit of tilt. But he's got to move this fling one over, hasn't he? Maybe then that makes it too easy for Blizzard to run around. So it's maybe there. We have to do something. I was going to foul with him. Oh my god, just not protecting the ball at all. Oh my god, that's terrible. Uh, 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 uh. That's literally terrible. What the hell? Defending the ball is instant hit on the ball. Available. What a GFI. Oh my god. And yet, make it 3D. That was really bad. 3D because it has no block, so. That was literally really bad. Not punish. <laughs> I want a square closer to the touchdown. Yeah. Oh man. And this is what the Andy hey. has come to casting his own uh, Saurus on a dodge. <laughs> That's the desperation, and I think it was the right uh, thing to do, probably. <laughs> I mean, it wasn't well, like the Kaz the, himself. <laughs> yeah, the Kaz himself part is a little excessive. <laughs> but, you know, if the Flings can do it, Andy can do it too. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, God. I don't want to see 3D on the Saurus. IMAX 3D. Oh, only no. a two, only a two. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, there is another Saurus. Uh, Maybe he should have just dodged then, because he's going to have to dodge anyway, so probably should have just dodged first, right? Because that was an extra one in nine, which just leaves him pretty fucked. This is a uh, yeah, yeah. This is pretty not a good day to be to be Andy Davo. Yeah, it's actually pretty good for the flings now. How have we reached this point? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Throw another fling. <laughs> He's got to yeah, go yeah. like here. I, I think the play with this one was to was to double GFI and dodge to here because this is like just a five plus. Oh no, this is, he's got another play there. Okay, and then bolts him. Yeah, I like that. I like that bolt. The flings are really close to scoring. Yeah, like it's a really easy score. Yep, as long as as long as they survive this hit with all these dog million stunty dodges. Oh! <laughs> oh my god! Oh my god! What a mistake, rolling that skull. Uh, I still even it was, you know, uh, just wishing for a pow. Yep. 3D from Zara. What? Wow. What are you doing? You have to, yes, you have to do that first action. To d for the glory. Why didn't he go in front? What the hell? I don't understand that at all. Failure. What is not Chofi. doing it? I used, I used trophy so he doesn't make the second GFI. Oh. <gasps> Oh my god. Wow. I mean, he's got apple, he's... didn't he, Ducky? He got apple. Yes, he got apple, but he's powered by pain, Ducky. You know, that's the niggling injury, you know, he's powered by pain. <laughs> He didn't shrug it all off. <laughs> the doctor helped. And again, a couple of three pluses for 2D. Yep. Okay. Doesn't get the pow. Sidestep in the end zone. Oh, baby. He should have picked the skull. Yeah, he should have done, actually. Yeah, that's correct. Yeah. Yep. Wow. And, uh, well, this is it. Andy Debo out of the chalice by Halflings for the second time. I have to say that I watched, I, I joined the 
Uh, and this swim just at this moment, just to see the uh, Flynn's uh, scoring the third one. I was like, what the hell has happened here? <laughs> but if you're wondering what the hell happened here, just look at the armor breaks. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that was... I don't know. It didn't even seem like a dicing, really. Yes, uh, looking on the replay, it doesn't look, you know, because the Flynn's uh, had turnovers mm. and all that, you know. Yeah, I don't know. It doesn't like his team was pretty shit, right? And like he didn't, he didn't cast much. That's true. But um, and the flings cast themselves, themselves. So yeah, yeah. Like it was kind of balanced out by all three flaws, all three throws resulting in a in a self cast, right? Yes, yes because that one, one and two. Yeah, the the losing the swords instantly and the crocs instantly is the big thing for sure. But like over the course a... of the game, it doesn't really seem like it was a dicing, does it? No, if you watch the replay as a, we were watching it, it's like okay, difficult game, but the flings have failed things. I mean, the niggle fling surviving everything. Yeah, yeah. It started on the first turn of the second half, where he tried to foul Lusara and blitz the niggle and nothing happened, yeah. and then suddenly the trees had tagged all his team. <laughs> That was brutal. And allowing that god halfling to be three D blitz was pretty terrible. But um, there you go. Anyway, congratulations to Harpic. Commiserations to Andy Davo. Thank you very much, Fime, for coming in and joining. Absolutely glorious. As always, a pleasure to be here. And sorry to Andy, there will be at least another season of this. So good luck with him. Uh, so I think he wasn't very devoted to to, to this team. He's like, okay, I'm gonna play this Saurus because I have to. But it, it wasn't the kind of team he enjoys. No, no, it was crap. And uh, thanks for watching, everyone. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. Stay fantastic.